Good morning, everyone. It's been a while. I'm sorry. Truth is, I've just been fishing and sucking. Um, so, about a month ago, I fished Hems Ford with John and uh, went down there and caught two fish. I uh, decided against making a video because it was just kind of boring. Um, and then about three weeks ago, went to Dale Hollow and fished sunrise to sunset, caught absolutely nothing. So obviously that's a pretty difficult um, video to make. And then two weeks ago, I'm pretty sure there was snow on the ground. And a week ago, I just didn't fish. I, I don't know, I've, I've definitely been slacking. Um, but today I'm still slacking because I was supposed to go out to Dale Hollow and uh, I slept in till about 11.30. So whatever. Uh, decided to go to the creek, do some fishing. Last time I went down here, caught some fish and uh, had a pretty decent time. So we are gonna do that again. Uh, we're gonna start off at that same spot that I always start off at usually. And uh, hopefully we catch some fish. We might go to a different creek. And uh, I don't know, we got Bo with us today and he's being quite annoying already. Say, hey bud. Yep, so let's get to fishing and uh, see if we can catch some fish. All right, <clears throat> got the Ned Rig tied up. We are using the 1 16th ounce Ned Ball head today. Um, you know, if you're fishing in a creek, you really don't need to get that deep, especially if the creek's only a couple feet deep. And uh, I think in this particular section, you know, we might be able to hit like, you know, three, three and a half, maybe four feet in the deepest hole so you don't really need a, a heavy uh a heavy jig head so 1 16th ounce this is the golden shiner core color and uh we're gonna see what we can do with it let's get the casting boat hey get out of the water dude you are so rude there we go let's do this folks Oh man, I already had a fish. Wow, I already had a fish. That's insane. <laughs> there we go. Small little guy. Oh my gosh, it's a largemouth. I never catch largemouth up here. It's kind of cool. Look at that little guy right there. Beautiful little fish. <clears throat> Bro, hey, 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 hey. Look at you. You just got yourself soaking wet. Come on, man. Chill out. Bo, get out of the water, dude. Okay, no way is this the same fish. What? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, buddy, hold on. Is that the same fish? I have no idea. Y'all tell me, is that the same exact fish? What in the world? Hey, Bo. Looking at my bait getting hit. All right, Bosa. Let's find new water. All right. Let's see here. All right, time to change it up. Let's figure out what we can do different here. I've got a couple little like uh, crankbaits, little jerkbait looking dealio from Walmart. 
think what I'm going to do is change up to the micro jig. Not the football, but just the standard micro jig. Wow, this water is so clear. These fish just spook. Like, literally, as soon as I walk up, they're, like, gone. I wanted to see if they react to this micro jig a little bit different. There we go. This is a rock bass. I haven't caught one of those in a in a while. Look at that. That little micro jig just look at it. Look at that guys. Just look at that fish. That's a beautiful fish. Alright, cool. There you go, little buddy. Now that I just scared every other fish away. Gonna make a couple more casts and then uh probably to the next spot walked up a little bit further made a few casts and uh didn't get any bites so the honey hole did not really produce today Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that was insane, that was insane, I hope my GoPro caught that, oh my gosh, this is a beautiful small mouth, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, calm down buddy, calm down, I will let you go. Oh my goodness. All right. So, basically what just happened was uh, I was swimming this little micro jig in and um, this beautiful smallmouth came up and just crushed it. And uh, basically he was just like chilling under this big old rock. There's a big old rock right here and I always Usually there's a rock bass or two sitting underneath it, but uh, today, this guy right here was sitting underneath it. Look at this fish. Look how clear this water is, too. There he goes. <laughs> that was awesome. Yep, there you go. Definitely wasn't going to get that one back. Alrighty, folks. That's going to be it for this spot. What are you doing, bud? What are you doing? Hey. I ain't got no food for you. Look, right here. <laughs> You're going to eat my finger. There you go. There's just some green grass. All right, well, I gotta get back to fishing, all right? See you later. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a massive crawfish right here. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. I caught this crawfish. I just caught a crawfish. Look at that. <laughs> That's so hilarious. He uh, 
grab Don. He's got one huge little claw there. Anyway, catch of the day right there, folks. There you go, buddy. Man, that was funny. Alrighty, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Seriously, it means the world to me. Um, I'm just now really starting to make a little bit of money off the whole YouTube thing. So it at least gives me, you know, a reason to do it. And uh, obviously I love fishing too, but it's a lot of work that goes in these videos, guys. Um, a lot of people don't realize that, but, you know, a lot of gas money that goes out there to, you know, to going out there to Del Hollow and, and, and all of that. So sometimes, you know, all I have time for is a little creek video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it today. Um, if you're not fishing the micro jig by now, after all these videos that I've used the micro jig, I don't know what to tell you, but uh, micro jig got it done today. Obviously, we didn't catch a ton of fish, but had a good day. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, catch you guys next time.